Labor have pre-selected a pregnant young mother to replace Speaker Jane Agard at the next election. The party's hoping a Darwin-born candidate with a family focus will fight off a strong challenge from the Independents and the Greens. Eric Torchek reports. Labor's putting family first with its Nightcliff pre-selection. It's great to have somebody who's young, about to have a new baby and uh, really being part of my team because at the end of the day it's about families. Former media adviser Natasha Files is in for a busy year but her pregnancy was no obstacle to pre-selection. <laughs> I said, do you want me to have the baby now? <laughs> so, yeah, obviously it's been a hectic sort of past few weeks, um, but me and my family, we've talked about it and we feel we can manage it and it's an exciting opportunity. Ms Files is the daughter of a former Labor Party secretary and also fit the retiring member's main criteria. She's a woman who is going to be able to do the job and that's what I was really keen on, particularly that we'd have a woman replace me as well. The former teacher and Royal Life Saving Executive Officer says her political interests are close to home. Education, obviously, I'm starting to become childcare and involved in that um, as an ex-teacher and also our public health system. Ollie was born at RDH, this one will be born there, so I'm very passionate about those issues. Pundits say Ms Files has a good chance in Nightcliff, despite running against environmentalist Stuart Blanche, who is standing as an independent. In small electorates like, uh, like Darwin, uh, being embedded in your local community can be uh, very much an advantage and Natasha's certainly got that sort of profile. The country Liberals are yet to announce a candidate in a seat that's tough for them to win. If they pick somebody high profile, well regarded in the community, I wouldn't put them out of it. But perhaps, like Labor, they'll keep it all in the family. Eric Twarczyk, ABC News.